Hello folks, this is your old pal, Uncle Al. Sorry my voice is a little strained, but a lot of people are nervous. And I had calls from overseas late at night. So I've been very busy, and i like to thank the people who donated for the holiday food boxes. Nathan, thank you very much. Jack Pine Savage, myself, and the Fuente family, thank you a lot. Their daughter went into the hospital. She's in intensive care. She just went into a coma. I lied to her. I told her Trump won. I haven't been feeling that great today. I hate to lie to kids, especially when they go into a coma. She's battling stage four cancer. So a little white lie, God will forgive me. Because I don't think Trunks going to win and all hell's going to break loose. So I didn't want her to die knowing that the evil Biden and Kamala Harris is going to destroy America. Her family legally got here so they could raise her as an American. Now she's going to die as an American. Which is the sad point. This is panic. Got my notes. A lot of notes. Panic, get ready the next 48 hours, which YouTuber will die? Plain and simple. Now me, I'll be here. I'm too old, too stubborn, too mean. I don't really care on death threats, so I'm already sentenced to this, so bring it on. Uh, we have just made a mockery the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Ugh, getting old. We're becoming a banana republic. All this, while I'll bring some other stuff up. Yes, it's banana time. Look, all the Democrats are bananas. Unfortunately, the Democrats, who are now banana Republicans, they got their developing list. Ugh. Getting old folks. They are developing list. And I've got to bring the bucket. All right. From Alaska to Hawaii, this is what I hear on the food shortages. They're already having runs on certain key items. Now, if you look at the shelving, because I used to work in a supermarket too in my younger days, some of them are well stocked, others just a front mass. You get maybe one or two cans or three cans. It looks full, but it isn't. Okay, it's usually by death. Now, if I could stick my arm in there and I could touch the back can at the wall, it's a full shelf. If I go behind and only hit three or four boxes, that means they're in trouble. Okay, so start getting your food. I heard from friends in Alaska. You go check Alaska Granny and Alaskan Prepper. They ain't kidding. The shortages have begun. Seriously. Now, if you have jasmine rice or white rice, I always recommend a can of coconut milk or coconut cream. I like cream. And if you have a big jar of coconut oil, mix this together with some rice and some coconut oil. As you cook it, you get the wonderful out of jasmine rice, coconut rice. And with white rice, this honey, depending on what kind of flavoring you like. I like uh, honey. My family likes uh, cinnamon and brown sugar. So you'll, you'll make a wonderful cream of rice dish using this. And you can do it in a rice cooker. I am so tired. I cried most of the day because of Jack Pine Savage's donation and two other people's donation. I just cried for about two hours and I got them. 
including my, my money out of my own pocket, $26.33. That's hard cash. I got the Fuente families, which has her and her brothers and sisters. And the family's been working as much as possible, but they haven't been working since March. And it's been like oddball jobs and, you know, slave jobs that the Democrats give out. You try feeding a family of four, one sick kid in the hospital, trips going back to the hospital. This just makes me mad when I hear, oh, we're Democrats, we're here to help. Here's all the promises. And yet they keep forgetting us. That's why we're the last red belt in California. A lot of Californians sold out to the devil. That's all I have to say. And they're going to get paid. Remember I told you about the five phases. Now, back in the 90s, they made these for the tanker units. Came in a box, and we used to have a uh, hot water bath. So you just dunk them in, and you pull it out, and you get a hot meal. And then when you go in battle, you drain the tank, and you don't have to worry about the hot water. Now, they also did a few weird things, like... We had a tank that had a tube that was supposed to be a toilet, did not work, so they took it out. So that's why they went to the MREs in the bag. No longer hot boiling meals. Instead, it serves two purposes, the MRE bag. Hold your food. If you get car sick or tank sick, you throw up in it. Or if you have to take a dump, you dump in it. Water bottles are used to hold urine until you could open the hatch and toss them out. Your best friend is duct tape. Okay? If you're in the tank, M1 tank, with five other guys, it's going to smell right. Now, nice thing about these, what I like about it, is if you have one of these, I have to show people, because people never learn by something I talk to them. Put them on their sterno stove or butane stove, fill it with water, put your meals in there, and they'll heat your meals. If you have MRI pouches and you don't have the heater meter bags, you put it in a pan and it'll heat that meal bag. Not rocket science, folks. Easy. This is why I'm going to have to be touched. Another thing I notice, a lot of you people out there won't notice, seriously, is we had runs on these things. Two reasons why we have runs. Every Southeast Asian and Asian that lived through under socialist and communist rule run and grab these. Not by one by one. They're grabbing cartloads, both in the ramen packets and these packets. So expect empty shelves by end of the month. Seriously, folks. When If Biden wins next morning, you go over to the grocery store, you will not see one of these at all. I will do later on a... I'm trying to catch my breath. I'm going to do later a um, portable suitcase if you go watch Winging It with Irish Coin, she did a very good one. I'm going to show you mine in the next video. All, right. All of you who hasn't prepared, we're okay until December 31st. Then hell starts on New Year's 2021. I did warn you, and I did warn you a lot. I'm just tired, and I'm sad, I'm emotionally drained. After this, I'm going to bed. I'm filming this a little before 7 o'clock. I'll catch you later, folks. Wait, I almost forgot. If you want to know what's going to happen next year, please read this book. Okay, this is exactly what's going to happen next year. Okay, you're not going to have electricity, running water, or food. And... If you call 911, you're going to get, we're sorry, but we cannot be in service at this time. Second thing is, 
All you militia idiots, get a copy of this. Okay, it's a paladin book. Because you have to fight. Uncle, I'm retired. I'm not doing this anymore. You have to fight the bad guys. And they're winning um, by, let's see, January, February, March, April. By April, all your pretty black black guns will be confiscated. There will be no ammo sales. There will be no food. There will no, be no electric power. You either go into their plantation system. That's all you guys are BML, BML, Black Lives Matter. Well, you're going to have a free trip to a resort. It's called the plantation. I'm not kidding about this. You haven't heard what's going on in the grapevine or in the dark net. Okay, it's serious. Red China is making plans. Russia is countering those plans. They're going to invade a couple of Central Asian countries, full force, and they're going to invade Ukraine. They are nervous as hell. Okay, and they might uh, take proactive steps. And if Biden is stupid enough or crazy enough to think Russia is the enemy, go pull your ass, head out of your ass, Biden. This is geopolitics, not domestic. Biden's horrible at geopolitics. Okay? We are going to hell next year in a few months. And I want to try to keep this short and try to keep anybody here listening to me alive because hell has just broken open. Okay? Now, if you're a YouTuber, militia, Anybody who supported Trump, they're coming after you. Plain and simple. They are coming after you. Understand that to the point. They will come to your house. They will come to your homestead. They will take your guns. They will take your property. Kill or seize all your animals. In other words, scorched earth. AOC saying, she wants a long knives list. And if you don't understand what's a long knives list, well, you go ask Inspired John, what was the night of the long knives? Okay? And all you BML, Black Lives Matter, if you study history, you understand what long knives mean. That means Antifa is going after anybody associated with Black Lives Matter. Because Black Lives Matter is Puppet mass, puppeteers are going to try hit the wrong kind of black people or wrong kind of Chicano or wrong kind of Vato. And they're going to, well, he's a Cuban. He's not really Spanish. Let's kill him. Or he's Filipino. Let's kill him. Okay? He, he speaks Spanish. We'll kill him. I'm not kidding about this. And who's going to be benefiting all this? You go look at Silicon Valley. I figure they're going to rip off the government over three trillion dollars in the next four years under Obama's uh, Biden's rule. And Biden won't last that long. They won't let a crazy man touch the nuclear football. So it'll be either Nancy Pelosi or Kamala Harris. All right, your choice. Good luck. God bless you. I'm going to try to keep making videos as necessarily possible. It's getting bad, folks. Night.